What's up guys, Atomic here, doing a little magazine review. Uh, the idea was inspired to me by my friend Cool Veg. He's done a lot of uh, well thought out extensive reviews, so definitely check that out. Here I have uh, Good Housekeeping. The name alone is misleading. I mean, we all know you can't keep your house unless you pay taxes. But um, I just wanted to take a deeper look and see what they're really trying to tell you. Uh, here on the cover we have some fake celebrity couple. You know, nothing that the average person can relate to. Put it on a smile just for the camera. And right away, advertisements and cosmetics reminding you that your hair is not good enough. And let's see, more advertisements, appliances. You know, if you don't have uh, the latest appliances, you're out of date. And if you want to show off to your guests, spend the extra money and buy stainless steel. And if you take a look inside, most of the time it's only the outside that's stainless steel. Unless you pay a few thousand extra for the, uh, the good stuff. More cosmetics. And here's some stranger telling you how you should be looking. And... Here's some chocolate ad in the shape of a heart, not letting you know what it's doing to your real heart. And we kind of get to the table of contents here. And even then in the table of contents, ad reminding you to cover up your stink in case you do stink. Oh. More ads, cosmetics again. And all in the middle of the table of contents. Here we have English breakfast tea. Mind you, all the tea leaves come from Africa and India. But it's English breakfast tea for you. <coughs> More cosmetics. Some Vicks Vapor drugs. More ads. Ads again. Another ad. What do you know it? Another one. Cosmetics. Some lady telling you what to think. And here we go. We kind of start getting into some articles mixed with a full page ad of just reminding you that you're not beautiful enough. And here we go. Pepperidge Farm chemical bread. And good housekeeping celebrating themselves. Isn't that nice? And again, reminding you what your house should look like. Here we go. Some more shit. Pharmaceuticals. And Pringles doing their own little twist on some crop circles here. Kind of telling you that multigrain and whole wheat stuff doesn't have taste. Because they know about that stuff, right? More ads. Don't forget to buy shit for your pets. And... <clears throat> yeah, more things to do. Just to keep your mind off yourself. More instructions here. Pharmaceuticals. Uh, some deodorant, because you probably stink. And... Yeah, it's probably packed with aluminum, too. Here we go, another expert. What's this? A full page ad. You food. What's this? Oh, it's a pill. You see? A pill telling you that take this pill and you'll be healthy. That's what the message is. Don't worry what they say. That's what the message is. Take the pill and healthy, happy, live. And here's the, uh, the other side of it. Showing you healthy things because, you know, you gotta get the veggies, and it's nothing more healthy than wine and uh, hard cheese. Okay, I wonder how much that ad cost. Yeah, more ads again. Talking about health now. And you know what that really is? It's just another advertisement to spend money in another place. Yeah, it's a big ad from the hospital. They just don't call it advertisements. 
Um, more medical ads. And there's Tide telling you to put their chemicals on your kids' clothes. Uh, good health, and then the first thing they talk about are pills. More ads, more chemicals. Telling you how to use processed sugar in a good way. Like that's a smart idea. Uh, let's see. More instructions on how to be healthy. A Jenny Craig ad here, reminding you that you're fat. And then the more I'm turning through these pages, I can't help but notice that the blackest characters here are the letters and the fonts. Well, let's see what else is here. More pharmaceuticals and Crest, you know, probably packed with fluoride. More chem to throw in your laundry. Another person telling you how to look good. Uh, and add for water from Brita. Oh wow, broccoli. That's unique. And what do they do? <laughs> Don't even enjoy the broccoli. Throw Cool Ranch on it. Uh, a bleach ad, because you know, it's nothing cleaner than a white kitchen when it glows. Uh, lotion ad, another page dedicated to themselves, telling you how to look good. Because if you're buying this magazine, they probably already assume that you need instructions on how to make yourself look beautiful. And on it goes. Oh, some diversity going on here. Is it consistent? Let's see. <clears throat> Here's a nice big Oreo ad. Right after all the healthy talk. And some ideas how to make candles while you're eating Oreos. And you know, things to do around your house to keep yourself busy. So you forget about your health for a little bit. More reasons to spend money. Let's see, Campbell Select Harvest. 80 calories, huh? Probably filled with sodium. And what else we got here? Zostavax, huh? It's a vaccine for, uh, what is it, varicella? No, shingles. And let's see, a little bit of info here. They show a little side effects. Of course, they leave out the uh, 14 or 16 people that died while they were testing this out, but, you know, they won't tell you that. Along with the uh, 50 or 60 people that had um, uh, heart attacks. That's true. You can look it up. Look up Zostavax and side effects. Let's see. Another ad telling you you're fat. Some information how to teach you how to run your kids. And spending more money. Lower your credit card bills. Wow. That's not strategic, isn't it? All those ads on buying stuff for your house. You might get a high credit card bill. And a Musil ad. Probably be good for those Oreos. Uh, minute rice. Isn't that something? It's taken 10 minutes to cook rice the regular way. Uh, it's just too much for some people. Best new products for 2010. Not even a few weeks in the year and they got the best products out. Kind of just reminding you if you don't own these things or if you own something similar that it's not it, you probably are uh, buying the wrong things. So buy these good things. We fit using a video game to exercise, right? Hmm. Some people just can't leave the house. And what do we have? Huh, more.